Hey, what's going on my YouTube subscribers and favorites? How are y'all doing today? I was gonna go live doing this, but I'm having some technical difficulties. For some reason, YouTube Live is being crazy. So, the title, did we just steal a customer? We had our first actual customer of a, as a business today, Robbie and I did, and we went out and diagnosed it, and you know, they, they agreed to fix what problem is, they gotta get a part. It's a water pump on a 2011 Mitsubishi Galant. Very nice lady. It was a word of mouth customer through a mutual friend that we know. And uh, we're sitting there talking to the lady and we're diagnosing it at the same time. And she said, well, I was gonna jump start it, put some antifreeze in it and take it up to the road to this shop over here. And when she said that, Robbie and I looked at each other like, um, okay wondering thinking the same thing is it the same shop so we're sitting there continuing to talk to the lady some more and uh told her what was wrong what it's going to take to fix it she agreed to it we gave her a labor price and uh, this is actually her son's car and uh got to talking to her and and after all that we were like yeah, if you don't mind me asking like well, what shop were you going to take it to and she said the name it's the one that i got fired from and the one that Robbie works at. So she was like, well, um, my son is actually in barber school and the guy that sent you guys to us or recommended you owns the barber school and he's the guy where I fixed his wife's Nissan Quest CV axle in her parking lot at the barber shop. So word traveled from a little town called Hope Mills all the way across to the other side of town toward Fort Bragg. And it just so happens she was going to take it to the place that I got fired from. And she was like, I would much rather you guys do that. I didn't even know mobile mechanics existed. And I thank you guys so much. So do you think that we stole the customer? Because technically as a consumer, you have the right to go to wherever you want to go. First of all, she couldn't jump to start the car and keep antifreeze in it to get it there anyway. So that was kind of a plus. Um, they would have charged her thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars to do a water pump on this car. It, it's only a three hour job. So she would have got ripped off. So at the same time, it's kind of like, you know what? That lady fired from me for no reason. She treats Robbie like garbage. This is kind of like the icing on the cake, like a big, you know, screw you. What do you guys think? You think we stole the customer? Or do you think that we got every right to do that? Because we are actually a legitimate business now. It's not like we went up there and said, hey, don't go there. We, we never said that at all. We were just like, oh, okay, you know, this, that's where I got fired from for some, some things that didn't actually happen. So, like I said, let me know what you guys think. And remember on any of the videos you can go down and you can hit that that dollar sign which is basically like a digital tip jar and that's gonna help us out tremendously I thank you guys I love every one of you I'm sorry about not going live being able to do this but uh, yeah I really want to know what you guys think on this one man so uh, I'll see you guys on the next one